Spanish one. If I have to go to a hospital, I better go to a Spanish one or a Portuguese one. I don't know the answer to that question. Two days after we got married, Carla suggested we sell everything, buy a boat and set sail. A year later we did just that. In the Canaries, we picked up our naked sailor, Dobby. This is our adventure. We had arrived in the estuary leading to Faro, just behind the island of Calatra on the Algarve coast. Here we would drop the hook for a week and enjoy the peace this estuary offers. So now tell me when was the last time we used the rib? I can't even remember. It must be last year. Well, it is last year. It is yeah, last year for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, can we get in the, uh, the clamps and we'll see whether it's going to start. So we're having to go just slowly and hoping not to hit the bottom. Yeah. Because we don't have another propeller. No, we don't. We don't have another spare. We need those spare. Yeah. So we need to be more careful. It's a long way to the entrance, isn't it? Yeah. Ohio has a distinctively Moorish feel, with square whitewashed houses, flat terrace roofs and narrow streets. Primarily a fishing town, tourism is now encouraged. The church of Nossa Sinhol dates back to the 17th century. It is still the place where the people gather during stormy weather to pray for their loved ones out at sea. Beach barbecue. Yeah, on. first time in I can't remember months, how long. Months, yes, months and months. months Probably if a not year. a year. <laughs> <laughs> we just love it. Absolutely and love it. We are enjoying our time here on this anchor so oh, much. It's gorgeous. It's, it's just beautiful. Gorgeous, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Stunning. So, it was so quiet last night. So peaceful. It's like a sort of uh, taking a tablet to make you go to sleep. <laughs> the tranquility of it, you know, it's unbelievable. Yes, it is. Barbecue is going. Looks a bit abandoned. Oh, I think it got slipped its uh, hook or anchorage or something and landed up here on the beach. <laughs> yeah.
what life um being a liverboard is all about really isn't it <laughs> not you know, really but it's not really about sailing we don't want to do any sailing yeah it's just about you know living the life living the dream wonderful darling i just got sand in my dinner what the <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? Why did you get that? Oh no, the wine's gone now. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. What's going on? Oh, it's a disaster. We're high and dry. The island of Calatra has one of the most traditional Portuguese fishing harbours in the country. It also has some of the most beautiful and remote beaches Portugal has to offer. miles to go around the island <laughs> and we thought we we're gonna walk for two hours we've been walking for five hours now I'm exhausted So this is the first time in three years that we take the emergency kit out. What have you done, Simon? I walked into some, um, they call it wall bar, I think it's a uh, reinforcing bar for building a building. And it was all rusted and I got it jammed right between my little... It went in like a bit like, like that. <laughs> like three centimetres. No, it didn't. It did. It did. I saw it. I saw it coming wet and I said, mm, that doesn't look good. I, I felt it coming out. I know that. Okay, let's start the operation. Oh my word! What do you
you thinking you're going to get coronavirus or something? No, I don't want to get an infection on you. That's the other way around. Come on, put it here. Be gentle. Be gentle with me. to go to a hospital but I better go to a Spanish one or a Portuguese one. I don't know the answer to that question. My daughter, I showed my sent a message to my daughter yeah. and she said are they gonna cut the toe off? <laughs> I'm gonna take a photo so you can see. I have the lowest threshold in pain that is actually possible. You do? Mm. This doesn't hurt you. This is just cleaning stuff. Ah! It doesn't hurt. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 